everyone, it's Lucy here. So this is actually my fourth time recording this video. The first few times it was either because um, I did not like my hair, my makeup, or what I said did not make sense. So today I actually wrote down everything I want to say and hopefully it will go well. Wait, I forgot to say this video is about how I improve as a self-taught dancer. I did a similar video last year, but it was over like a year ago and I want to just do another updated and more concise version. I personally have been using these tips to train myself and improve myself and I will still try my best and use these tips in the future to help myself improve. But now I just want to share these tips for you guys if you guys are also a self-taught dancer or want to start a dance account or just want to start dancing and don't know how to improve or how to like do it better. So I hope this video will be helpful and let's get started! So the first tip, which I think is the most important thing, is to work out regularly. Everything comes down to your core power. Without core power, everything will look sloppy. Like if you're trying to be powerful without having core power, the power won't look as textured as the power within your muscle. So I would suggest you have just like a short session every day doing planks, sit-ups, um, push-ups, to strengthen your arm muscle, your core muscle, um, that will help you a lot. I personally have been uh, doing like this kind of 10 minutes workout every day since uh, uh, 2018. Not every day, honestly. Um, sometimes I get really tired or I get not motivated at all. I just do it like three times a week, but that's better than nothing, right? If you are really determined to improve your core power, you gotta do some sort of workout, daily exercises. I suggest Chloe Ting's abs workout. I started follow her workout at first, and then I started to uh, like just mix and match her exercises and make up my own workout routine. I also have a video on that so if you want to check that out. I will link here. So if you're someone who really hate workout or just don't have the motivation at all, I would suggest you just start really slow. Set like 10 minutes, play 3 songs. Even if it's just only 5 or 10 minutes, it's better than nothing. It will help you in the long run. Like if you just accumulate it day by day, and it will like go, what is the word? Exponentially. So the theory behind this is set systems, not goals. So don't just look at your big goals in the end, but you set your daily routines. And then if you just do it every day, the result and the goal will come to you. I highly recommend a book called Atomic Habits. Um, it tells you everything you need to know about building a habit and sticking to a habit. And for example, like the environment is very important when it comes to uh, sticking to a habit. So just have your yoga mat out every day. Like put it next to your desk or next to your bed uh, instead of like putting it in the closet so that you are more like comfortable with doing the workout. So because you don't have to take out a yoga mat every day. Like it just deducts the friction of doing the habit. So it talks about a lot of stuff like this to how to build a habit. So I highly recommend you read this book. It's honestly really life changing. It will motivate you a lot in terms of doing like daily exercises to enhance your core power. And same as core power, you wanna like stretch as much as you can, ideally every day. So your body won't look stiff when you dance. I found out that like stretch regularly really helps just soften your body. Doing like splits every day or yoga every day, um, it really helps me like loosen my body. And number two is have some sort of freestyle session for yourself. When I say freestyle, it's not actually the legit freestyle. The actual freestyle requires a lot of techniques. But what I was talking about was just like you play your favorite song and you dance to it however way you want. And when you dance, you focus on the problems you have. So for me, I'm not good at like stopping moves, connections, textures, and level changes everything so like when i try to do this kind of exercises i tend to focus on my problems like when i um, dance to my favorite song which is usually a 17 song so i tend to just do a lot of like up and down moves and just um, flow my arms more often and just focus on the stopping according to the beat and my favorite song is 24 7 by their performance team it's really good for training or stopping because it has a lot of like stopping 
upbeat musicality. So I really like dancing to that song, and it's a really good emotional song. It's actually really therapeutic to me because I got to like express my emotions stress-free and without worrying about like how people will look at me or how people will comment about my dancing because like no one is watching, right? So I can just dance however the way I want, and it's really good and relaxing. So a lot of you guys will ask, how can I find my problems exactly? Um, so number three is to watch and observe your old dance videos stop 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 don't be scared of recording yourself because it's just for yourself to um, observe your problems so for me i always like to watch my videos from like two or three months ago to observe myself because at that time i probably couldn't see myself clearly but as time goes by i like trained a little bit more and i watched more dance videos when the time goes by you just got, you just watch yourself more clearly i don't know why but it's like that's how it works and that's how you can like actually see yourself and observe yourself i found a lot of my problems by watching my old videos i was like why did i do this move like this you may think that that problem exists in the past but you probably still have their problems now so like next time when you realize the problems you will be more mindful and careful when you dance and just focus on these problems and try to fix the problems i said a lot of problems and another way to find your problems which comes to our number four tip is to ask others for their opinions um, it's honestly really scary right to think about like having to present yourself to others and getting feedbacks and critiques but that's what makes you better because you have different perspectives to give you different opinions and views on uh, like how you dance how you look so it's really good to hear different voices from your like loved ones or your friends who know about dancing i found some of my biggest problems from my friends um, i have a friend anthony um, you guys probably know him because i interviewed him in my last like my filming equipment video so he's a really awesome dancer he filmed so many of my dance covers as you guys know he gave me like a really useful tip after we filmed kill this love dance cover and he said like the biggest problem you have is you always cut off your pathway you always not complete a move and then you rush the next move and then even though like i somehow know that i had this kind of problem but i didn't know what exactly it was but then after he pinpointed what my problem was i was like oh my god like that's what my problem was so ever since then when i dance i pay way more way more attention to the pathways and how i complete each move and it, it honestly helped me so much so i want to say that like really trying to um, ask others opinions will help you realize your problems also when i was in choreos we did this kind of casting system so we would send like short clip of we dancing to the chorus if you want to do a certain covers and the leaders will choose and judge based on each other's dancing and pick whoever is in the cover um, and then they will give you feedbacks for your short clips of casting videos and that honestly helped me so much like i found out so many of my problems through um, my peers my friends feedbacks because uh, in choreo they we all like dance together and they are all really good dancers so they help me a lot in terms of finding out my problems and fixing my problems like it's really good i actually really miss that environment because we all like help each other grow we all grow together also if you do dance covers online you will get a lot of feedbacks um, in the comment sections or like just from online feedbacks it's really scary to think at first that you get like negative feedbacks online in the end it's like a motivation for you to grow and then sometimes the suggestions and feedbacks are actually really useful like, there's a lot of like good dancers professional dancers out there um, they will like um, be really kind and share their insights and that's when you really should take into consideration of their suggestions and feedbacks and i remember this one comment i got it was like a long paragraph it was honestly like so helpful and then she or he was really really respectful she gave me a lot of tips about how to like extend my 
uh, moves and how to like stick through my stamina and then she said like you gotta keep your posture straight so that the air can flow and then you gotta breathe more and try to make moves as big as possible even if you're tired and I'm really thankful and appreciate for that person for taking their time to write this long paragraph and then she was really really respectful uh, so those kind of comments I really really appreciate um, but you gotta distinguish which ones are uh, suggestions uh, or feedbacks and which ones are hate comments like those hate comments were just like you look bad or you look ugly you're done so bad that's not gonna help you at all right so don't be too bothered or be too caught off by the negative the pure negative comments focus more on the positive side and the support you got and all the useful suggestions they will help you grow as a better dancer and as a better person in general and number five is learn and observe from idols fan cams and practice videos find your favorite idol dancers in trying to learn and observe their dance moves like for me i always watch like momo and chenga's fan cam or their practice videos and observe how they executive certain moves and how they control their power and how they like differentiate different textures and even their like facial expressions like by watching them a lot of times your brain will just process it by itself and when you dance you will kind of like remember how they dance to it and then you are trying to incorporate it in your own dancing and that's how you trying to build your muscle memory and train yourself hip-hop dancers or like heel dancers from all these major dance studios just try to observe why they look so good doing that move or how their transitions look like and trying to learn their pathways trying to learn how they do that move and trying to imitate their postures and through imitating different dancers style and their moves you will find your own style and along the way you will improve and also what i like to do is i record myself when i practice and then i compare myself to the original dance cover a uh, dance video yeah so i use like premiere pro or there's a lot of programs can do that like doing the side by side video um i have a video talking about how to do the video clutch so you can check it out here um but i just put them side by side and then trying to see which move I did wrong and which texture I was not right or which part I was not as powerful as the original video so like and that's how you really can see your positives because if you just watch yourself and watch the original video you probably won't see as much but if you put them together you'll say like oh my god I look so bad compared to like you know and when you continue practice that dance piece you will know what your problem is and then you go ahead and fix the problems and number six is a basic logic is to step out of the comfort zone it goes without saying that stepping out of comfort zone will really 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 help you in terms of improving because if you never stepping out and try something you are afraid of or you're not good at you will never reach your fullest potential even if you fail it's okay because you already gained and learned something along the way during the process so here i want to use a quote from atomic habits and learning to speak a new language to play on a musical instrument or to perform on accustomed movements great difficulty is felt because the channels through which each sensation has to pass have not become established but no sooner has frequent repetition cut the pathway than this difficulty vanishes the actions become so automatic that they can be performed while the mind is otherwise engaged both common sense and scientific evidence agree repetition is a form of change so i think this paragraph just tells you all that like why you should step out of the comfort zone because if you repeat rep, rep, repeat what's the word repetitively doing something doing the exercise doing the move your muscle memory will help you remember the move and you will definitely get better at it and number seven is never never underestimate the importance of foundations there's tons of tutorials online about building your dance foundations hip-hop foundations jazz foundations uh, you can just look up online and learn a move every day and trying to practice it every day like for me i used to go to playground la and just to take their uh, hip-hop groove class like it was really fun it's actually a really good workout and they um, teach you a lot of like basic hip-hop moves it really helped me in terms of my groove 
in my dancing and when you have a strong hip hop or jazz foundations it's gonna help you a lot in terms of not only learning the dance because you already know the foundations and all the k-pop dances are based on this foundation moves but also you will get more comfortable and you will look more natural doing all these moves because you already have the natural groove to the dance so never stop practicing foundations which is also a reminder for myself never stop practicing foundations anyways these are the seven tips that i have for self-improving as a self-taught dancer um, i hope this video will be helpful and if you don't find it helpful i'm really sorry like that's all the tips that i personally have been using um, but you can also share your personal tips in the comments down below and we can all communicate with each other and one more time you gotta be patient with everything because the progress doesn't come overnight uh, you gotta practice and practice and set systems not goals if you set your systems right and stick with your systems your goal will come to you thanks guys for watching i'll see you guys next time bye bye we can go.